I don't think 100 years from now anyone will know who Steve Jobs is. It'll be like Warren Moon. I pick at least three people at all times, whether it's by a book, a podcast, or in person, that sit in a situation that I want to be in. I, I follow history. Uh, and the reason I follow history is human nature never changes. So the more I can determine by studying and, and following history, the more I can understand human nature. If I understand human nature, I can be a better leader. A, fo a follower to me is someone who is more interested than interesting. We're all, we're, I call it the empty mile. The people that I see that can make a faster transition from follower to leader, they're the first one in and the last one to leave. I, I know that might sound silly. They're always asking questions. They're always asking for help. The, the biggest problem with everyone in the world, including you and especially you, is you don't ask for help. I did the career day uh, speeches here, I think for two years, and I do the breakout sessions and they have career people that are paid a salary to be here. They're like career coaches or whatever. And my favorite question always is, hey, are you busy? To the career leader, no. Yeah, I, it's, worry about that. it's awful. And I'm sitting there like, you guys, I'm a parent. At least your parents or you are paying a ton of money to go here. And here's the person that has the most influence in your life, meaning be someone that can give you help to get a job, to pay back what you may have to pay. And yet we don't use them. We can't even ask the people that are paid to help us. To, and it, I got in the habit as a follower still today, if I'm not asking someone for help every day, I'm limiting my capability. And it's so, it's, I don't know what it is ego-wise, we're so afraid to think we're inferior because we're asking for help. But the irony is when somebody asks you for help, you feel terrific. Right. <laughs> You're making them feel good. You're giving them a gift. Hey, I really appreciate your knowledge about this. Could you help me? I really appreciate that you might know this person. Can you help me? Or even better, I have a softer sale for you. Do you know anybody can help you? Professor, do you know anyone that can help me? And now every professor and every leader is going to try to help you themselves. But if they don't, I almost guarantee they'll know somebody that can help you. And we're limiting our, our futures by not asking for help. You know, we talked about defining moments and the importance they play and who we are and how we uh, evolve over time. Uh, you know, the, I think the other issue uh, uh, is mentors. And you mentioned mentors earlier. So first of all, I'm curious, you, you had an opportunity, I don't know how close your relationship was with Steve Jobs, but assuming it was close enough, what did you learn? What's the most important thing you learned from Steve Jobs that you have found has, has, has been an integral part of who you are and how you go about doing your work? Yeah, I, and I've been blessed because I've asked for mentorship. Uh, and Steve was one of those people early on I wanted to learn about because balance was the issue I wanted to learn from him because he was so successful, but he wasn't a balanced individual. Um, and I think when he died and he left his letter, I, I think he realized the balance side. So sometimes you can learn from someone and not agree with them. So when I asked him about balance, uh, I explained to him I had a philosophy of four values, my personal values, character, integrity, love, family, all of those types of things, an experiential value. So for example, I think college is in that bucket. It's an experiential value. It's an experience you'll never, ever have an opportunity to have again. And you have to take stock in that. Then you have giving values. How much am I giving back my legacy? And then you have financial or receiving values. Uh, the irony of my life is Steve Jobs taught me his was all this ego-based financial value. How, how big his company, how much he could receive, and in the end, if you're asked what would you bankrupt, would you bankrupt your health, your integrity? Steve Jobs learned no. He won because he lost his health. And all that money, all that success, all the people kowtowing to him meant nothing. Experiential values. Would you bankrupt the experiences you had for money? You'll learn when, when you're all super successful because you went to Tulane, how much was those four years worth? Would you, how much would you pay to go back and have those four years again, right? I, I told the professor today, I said, you know, Stanford could give me a full scholarship to law school and I'd pay to go to Tulane. That's how much I value the experience I had. The experience, right? Is it academically a better law school? I have no idea, nor do I give a shit. Like, I don't care. My experience, I haven't met one person 
that went to law school that had a better experience than me. The giving values. Steve Jobs, what I learned as a mentor, I don't think 100 years from now anyone will know who Steve Jobs is. It'll be like Warren Moon. You know, it's, it's hard to get old. It's hard to get old because you see, but everyone will remember Bill Gates because Bill Gates created a legacy. Warren Buffett has created a legacy of giving. That lasts forever. And you would never bankrupt your leg legacy as we found, find out today with politicians and leaders. Would you bankrupt your legacy over money? The interesting thing is we spend 90, like Steve Jobs, spent 90 some percent of his time ruining his family, ruining his relationships with his associates, ruining his legacy, all for the, that receiving. Receiving because of, a, of a, an ego-based need that he was born as an orphan, right? At, he, he needed to be fed. And in the end, every one of us, if we had the choice, when you're lying there, what would you bankrupt? We spend 90% of our lives worrying about what we're receiving. Most of us are afraid to receive, are worried about, and can't ask for what we receive. And two, it doesn't even matter. We would bankrupt what we received. That's what I learned from the mentorship of Steve Jobs.